So welcome to Mixed Reality Space Sharing. There are three and maybe four, if you count them, um, different ways to share space. Um, so, okay, first concept, spatial anchor. So the anchor of this uh, space or any space can be um, or needs, needs to be somewhere. In the case of this uh, example, it is right in the middle of this object, this, uh, this fire. Uh, each person here, um, we take this fire, put it somewhere in our space, uh, and then it's up to the app to um, arrange the people around that fire. I can, of course, stand up and walk around and, uh, uh, the fire, get closer and further away from people, but my default position is kind of equidistant around this fire. Uh, same for you. So this, um, Apple calls this the, what do they call it? The surround. Yes. So this is their surround template um, where you're surrounding one object and everybody comes in and joins. So this next one's not too different than surround, um, but Apple's calling this one conversational. So there is a conversation piece here um, that we can all refer to. I can point to. Maybe I can present this. Uh, this awesome space station by Airbus. Um, nerd. Uh, anyway. Um, but uh, everybody's still by default kind of in a conversation circle. Um, so that's this is the conversational one. And still, if I move this object, um, then everybody else should follow along with me more or less um, uh, or with you as you move the object. Okay, this last one is called side by side. So, um, and as it sounds like, all of us, if you look around, uh, are next to each other and we're looking at something from the same, more or less from the same side or the same angle. This is a great one for watching movies, consuming content, um, and more or less seeing something from its one optimal angle. But still, being able to hang out with someone, be able to give them a high five, watch the game, get up and go crazy for a little bit, maybe do some charades, maybe one person's on stage for a bit, and then everybody comes back down. Um, so yeah, this one's side by side. Okay, so now this one's a real trip. So this one is using a surface or a portal to connect two spaces. Uh, you can do this in two ways. One is to have one person inside the portal and the other person you know, in their space and vice versa, or have both people on the same side of a physical surface or object. Uh, in this case, I'm in this portal here. Uh, you, you know, are in your space. And now, you know, maybe we can play a game of tennis or something like this, but you play it into your wall and the wall ball comes out. Uh, you know, you definitely have to make a portal uh, to make this happen, kind of bust through the wall. Um, this effect looks best if you can have the user scan a surface and find a surface. Uh, and in Shapes XR, it's easy just to kind of grab this box, shove it up against the, uh, a wall so that it appears that like it's accurate. Um, yeah, so this is the one that's like kind of the hardest to wrap your head around. But if you do it, it can be really fun uh, and it can really uh, be delightful for, for users.